Hello, it is a dark episode for January the 10th, 2022, where, well, I went to work and, uh, yeah, I was not working with who, well, <laughs> a work situation, which is interesting. And just, sometimes it's just interesting to watch people and how they act. And you just kind of go, wow, really? You're going to act that way. You're going to make that decision. And that is, you know, that is the endless fascination of, of, of stories, of um, people watching, of psychology, of all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, and I, obviously I'm not going to go into any details because that's talking about my workplace and people whose business it is, which, to be honest, it's not my business even though I also work there. It's just... I'm, you're standing on the outside and you watch someone else behave a certain way and you kind of go, eh, that's interesting. I wonder why. So there was that. Uh, other than that, it was a typical Tuesday. I'm feeling pretty tired, um, which is odd because I'm pretty sure I got a good night's sleep last night, though Ja said I was snoring. So maybe it wasn't as good a sleep as I thought it was. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'll try and sleep without snoring tonight, I guess, or something like that. We'll, we'll go for it. I definitely woke up with raccoon eyes. Uh, maybe someone was raccooning me uh, through the night, riding me. There's a raccoon riding my head during the night, uh, making me cook and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind one of those for some days at work. <laughs> it wouldn't be mad. Wouldn't be bad. Um... I did do a video on bleak seasons, which I'm very happy about. That was like, okay, I'm, I've am i got that kind of thing of let's get one video or kind of book project thingy done a day uh, or, you know, at least one hunk of it. This was one that was very low prep because it was basically me reading a Wikipedia article on the book and then dis and discussing it as I was reading it to try and help it make sense for me and I don't know how much it made sense for me even then but at least I think I also kind of ex I, I kind of dug up the reasons why this reading the sixth book in this in this series where it's apparently part one part two of a book and I also did not read the book before that which is about from another character's viewpoint um at the same time as this book so it's there's probably reasons why it feels like a bit of an incomplete puzzle to me because it was an incomplete piece of a puzzle for me so it was good to do that um we got out for a walk today ja came with us that was really awesome i need to stop locking her out of the house because she turns back um she doesn't do the full walk. She turns back, but she had left the, the front door open. But I had ducked inside to wash my hands after doing something out, out the yard. And then what did I do? I, of course, locked the door. And Ja's usual comment to me is, you just don't think about stuff. You do not think about stuff. And it's like, <sighs> I do think about a lot of stuff. Um, it's just I have a tendency to fuck up on some stuff. But I'm not not entirely without thought. I think I can claim. But yeah, it, it, as it impacts her, I can see why she's frustrated by it. So there was that. Um, hopefully she'll come out for a walk with us again sometime soon. That would be awesome. And other than that, I'm sitting by the light of a... Uh, waxing moon i think it's getting it's getting closer and closer to full moonness i can see the man in the moon kind of looking down at me very eerily kind of fuzzily because probably because i need glasses and he's slightly out of focus but i can see this kind of kind of weird kind of face looking at me kind of looks like tim rice at the moment tim rice as a one of the cats from the musical cats which is Rather disturbing. All right, let's leave it on that note.